Welcome Hoops Enthusiasts. Today we're about to dive into a fascinating yet contentious case involving none other than Ja Morant. But before we unravel the intricacies of this situation, make sure to slam dunk that subscribe button and give the like button a tap so mighty it echoes like a championship winning buzzer beater. Now, let's get into it. Ja Morant has captivated fans with his exceptional skills on the court. With his exciting playing style and innate talent, Morant has proven to be one of the most thrilling players of his generation. However, behind the lights and fame, Morant has also faced a series of off-court challenges that have tested his resilience and determination. From injuries to financial pressures and personal issues, Morant has had to confront a number of obstacles on his path to success in the NBA. Ja Morant is a present star with a bright future in the NBA, but off-court issues can become a burden. Approximately a year ago, he was accused of assaulting a teenager and threatening him with a weapon, as reported by the Washington Post. But that's not all. Additionally, four days later, he clashed with a mall security chief in Memphis. With the teenager, things didn't stop there, as Morant allegedly struck him 12 or 13 times during a basketball game at his home, leaving him with visible head injuries that the police observed. Moreover, the Memphis Grizzlies guard reportedly entered his home and reappeared with a gun tucked into his waistband. Morant defended himself, stating that he acted in self-defense as the teenager had thrown the ball at his head. Despite this, prosecutors did not press charges due to lack of evidence. Regarding the mall incident, Morant's mother had an issue in a store, and Ja went to her aid accompanied by nine others. When he refused to leave with his group, he confronted the security chief, and allegedly a friend of Morant's struck him in the head. Jim Tanner, Morant's agent, stated, The allegations are baseless rumors and gossip being spread by individuals motivated to undermine Ja and tarnish his reputation for their own financial gain. Each and every allegation related to a firearm has been thoroughly investigated and has not been substantiated. During the intense questioning session, Ja Morant asserted that the teenager had menacingly threatened to return to his residence and he stated, Blow it up like fireworks painting a vivid and alarming image of potential harm. This ominous declaration weighed heavily on Morant, prompting him to take decisive action and report the incident, deeply concerned for his safety and that of his household. Finally, during the interrogation, the detectives made a point to inform the Grizzlies player that the 17-year-old had reportedly disclosed that he had shown him the firearm. However, curiously, they refrained from directly inquiring whether this assertion held any truth. Despite all this, on Tuesday, April 9, 2024, the judge ruled in favor of Ja Morant. Now here comes the good news. The judge's decision brought a sigh of relief to Morant and his supporters, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the tumultuous legal proceedings. In a victory for NBA player Ja Morant, a Tennessee judge ruled on Monday that Memphis Grizzlies star acted in self-defense when he struck a teenager in his home in July 2022. According to court records obtained by ESPN, the ruling comes after a civil immunity hearing held in December 2023 in Memphis, where Ja Morant testified that he struck first at Joshua Holloway, then 17, to protect himself during an altercation that led Holloway to file a lawsuit in September 2022, accusing Morant of assault. Why did Ja Morant hit Joshua Holloway? Here are the details we know so far. The altercation occurred during an informal basketball game. Holloway, allegedly frustrated by losing several games, was accused of throwing a one-handed pass to Morant during a check ball situation. The ball hit Morant in the face, after which Morant said Holloway took a step towards him, prompting Morant to also step forward to strike Holloway. After that blow, Morant's friend, Devontae Pack, also came to strike Holloway an act for which Pack was later arrested for a misdemeanor assault. Subsequently, the charge against Pack was dismissed. In the case involving Ja Morant, Shelby County Circuit Court Judge Carol Chumney determined that Morant is entitled to a presumption of civil immunity, according to Tennessee's self-defense immunity law. This means that the responsibility to show that Morant did not act in self-defense rests with Holloway and his legal representatives. Although the trial was initially set to start in late April, it is anticipated to be postponed to a future date, expressing her dissatisfaction with the ruling. Holloway's attorney, Rebecca Adelman, stated to ESPN, we are disappointed and will continue to take necessary steps to protect and defend Joshua. 
The controversy surrounding Ja Morant seemingly escalated following an incident on January 29th in Memphis, tied to a game against the Indiana Pacers. During this game, a confrontation between Morant and a Pacers player spiraled out of control, leading to a broader altercation involving multiple players. The situation intensified when Devontae Pak, a childhood friend of Morant, was ejected from the stadium. The reason for his ejection was his engagement in a verbal exchange with Pacers players, an action noticed and acted upon by a referee. However, the drama did not end with the game. Four days later, Pack, alongside four other individuals, was spotted approximately 40 meters from the Indiana Pacers team bus. This occurrence attracted media attention, leading reporters to question Morant about any involvement he might have had. Ja Morant responded to the inquiries by distancing himself from the incident, stating, I have nothing to do with it. I don't care what happened because there is no confirmed information. They have to prove the facts. I'm going to focus on myself and not waste energy on these things. This series of events has led to speculation about the potential impact on Morant's career, suggesting that he is possibly facing significant challenges that could affect his future in professional basketball. Morant has also faced personal issues that have caught the media's attention. In particular, his relationship with firearms has indeed been a significant source of controversy, capturing the media's attention and leading to repercussions in his professional life. His actions have resulted in multiple suspensions, reflecting the NBA's strict stance on behavior that could tarnish the league's image or potentially endanger public safety. The first incident that led to disciplinary action occurred in March of the previous year, when Morant was seen in a video displaying a firearm while at a Denver nightclub. This action resulted in an eight-game suspension, underscoring the seriousness with which the NBA treats such matters. The situation escalated with a subsequent incident where Morant was again seen with a firearm, this time in a video posted online that showed him inside a car. This incident led to a more severe consequence, with Morant facing a 25-game suspension at the start of the 2023 to 2024 season. The repeated nature of these incidents not only highlighted concerns regarding Morant's behavior off the court, but also raised questions about his judgment and the potential impact on his career and public image. In response to these criticisms, Morant has publicly addressed the issues, expressing regret and acknowledging the need for better decision-making. He has spoken about the importance of focusing on his career and personal growth, indicating an awareness of the gravity of his actions and their repercussions. The NBA, and professional sports leagues in general, maintain strict policies regarding player conduct, both to ensure the safety and integrity of the game and to set a positive example for fans and young athletes. Morant's experiences serve as a reminder of the high expectations as placed on professional athletes and the serious consequences of failing to meet them. Before his return last month, Morant said that thanks to therapy and counseling received, he had found a new outlook on life. I feel like I learned some things about myself during that process, Morant said in December. Very revealing. It gave me a new outlook on life, as far as how I go about my days, how I behave. I'm just grateful and thankful that I'm still here in the position I'm in. Ja Morant's journey in the basketball world, marked by both dazzling highs on the court and notable challenges off it, encapsulates the multifaceted nature of being a public figure in the sports industry today. His experiences remind us that behind the accolades and highlights reel, athletes navigate personal and professional challenges just like anyone else. Understanding these aspects of Morant's life offers a more comprehensive view of him as both a player and a person. As Morant continues to navigate his career in the NBA, his resilience in facing off-court challenges will likely play a crucial role in shaping his path forward. It's a testament to the idea that an athlete's growth and legacy are influenced by more than just their performance during the game. How they handle life's hurdles is equally significant. Before you go, remember to subscribe for more updates and insights into the lives and challenges of your favorite athletes. Your support through likes and comments is greatly appreciated as it helps us bring more content that interests you. Keep following for more stories that go beyond the game, shedding light on the personal journeys of sports figures like Ja Morant.